You know what the difference is between you and me? I make this look good. Your world's gonna end. Look, look, come on down. We'll, we'll get those eyes fixed. Don't even worry about it. I, look, I, wait, wait a minute. Let me talk to you. Hey, hey! Officer Eduardo. Oh, hey. How did these get here? I thought I'd turn these into the proper authorities. <laughs> uh, the way I hear it, Jeebsy, you into something a little hotter than some stolen Rolexes. Yeah, well, I'm a huge crack dealer now, but I still work here because I love the hours. I'm talking about guns, smart ass. All right, that's confiscated, all of it. And I want you on the next transport off this rocker. I'm going to shoot you where it don't grow back. Yeah, and, and, and I'm gonna be back to, to talk about them Rolexes. I see we have a question. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, maybe you already answered this, but uh, why exactly are we here? Son? Second Lieutenant Jake Jensen, West Point, graduate with honors. We're here because you're looking for the best of the best of the best, sir. <laughs> What's so funny, Edwards? Boy, Captain America over here. <laughs> the best of the best of the best, sir. <laughs> yeah, with honors. <laughs> yeah, he's just really excited, and he has no clue why we're here. <laughs> that's just, that's very funny to me. <laughs> Y'all ain't laughing, though. why you felt little Tiffany deserved to die. Well, she was the only one that actually seemed dangerous at the time, sir. How'd you come to that conclusion? Well, first I was gonna pop this guy hanging from the street light, and then I realized, you know, he's just working out. And how would I feel if somebody come running in a gym, bust me in my ass while I'm on a treadmill? Then I saw this uh, snarling beast guy, and I noticed he had a tissue in his hand. I realized, you know, he's not snarling. He's sneezing. You know, ain't no real threat there. Then I saw little Tiffany. I'm thinking, you know, eight-year-old white girl, middle of the ghetto, bunch of monsters, this time of night with quantum physics books. She about to start some shit, Zed. She's about eight years old. Those books are way too advanced for her. If you ask me, I'd say she's up to something. And to be honest, I'd appreciate it if you eased up off my back about it. Hey, what's this thing? <laughs> This thing caused the 1977 New York blackout. Give the kid a weapon. Series four, de-atomizer. That's what I'm talking about. Noisy cricket. Hey, Kay, no, no, come on, man. You get a, a series four de-atomizer, I, I get a little, little midget cricket. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm gonna break this damn thing. Get out! and view of the public. Man, we ain't got time for this cover-up bullshit. I don't know whether or not you've forgotten, but there's an alien battle cruiser about to... There's always an alien battle cruiser or a Karelian death ray or an intergalactic plague that's about to wipe out life on this miserable little planet. The only way these people get on with their happy lives is they do not know about it. With some light, some light had reflected uh, off of Venus into, into some swamp gas, and that's what made the... Um... All right, kid. What's up? Now that's the worst disguise ever. That guy's definitely an alien. You don't like it? You can kiss my furry little butt. Call the pound. We got a stray. Uh, the, the dog owes my friend money. Rosenberg said something about a galaxy on Orion's belt. What's he talking about, Frank? Beats me. Beats you. Uh, they're rehearsing a ventriloquist act. You remember the little red button? Yeah. Push the little red button. 
And you may want to put on a seatbelt. You know, you're much too tense. You're a young man. You need to relax. Learn to take some joy in your work. Do you like music? You do know Elvis is dead, right? No, Elvis is not dead. He just went home. Hey! Just gonna eat and run, huh? What about dessert? There's only one way off of this planet, baby, and that's through me. And that's what I'm talking about. Bro, just check in. They don't check out. Pulsar level five with a subsonic implosion factor. What? Just shoot the damn thing on the counter screen. Three. Welcome to Earth. That's what I call a close encounter.